What's going on? SmartHelping.com here. We got a couple updates to the SaaS uh, business model. It's one of the more popular ones, and I've had about six or seven clients um, go through it lately. And based on their feedback, we've got a couple things uh, additions. Um, number one. So before it had user starting subs always um, in the first month. Um, so I've updated kind of the wordage here and the positioning so it's a bit a bit more clear and you can define the month that revenue starts so in you know if we put this you know subscription level one if we go to march here you can see on our monthly doesn't start till march um and this is good if you don't plan on if you have different product levels that you're planning to launch later in time if you can see we could put this out to july and now it doesn't start till July. So I've done that for all uh, four tiers. Um, that's one update. Uh, next update is the financing. It's now you define your month that you can start financing here. Before it was stagnant in the first month. Uh, all this is the same. You just define your uh, loan assumptions. And <clears throat> based on that you'll see the financing comes in down here the cash flow you can put in your starting bank balance and this tracks your cash position based on your business activity and loans so you can see here we have it in starting in March we could put it to April there it now pops into April instead and you've got your net cash in income tax cash flow after tax any balance um, I'm just going to go over the updates and I'll try to do an overview of the whole model after I'm done, but I just want to get through the updates real quick. So there's that. Uh, I had a little couple picks here that sh for each type of cost. Um, updated the formatting on the costs a little bit uh, to save space. Um, you've already seen we've added one time revenue. If you have that for each subscription level, if not, you can put zeros there the average revenue per account for the recurring um, services uh, did some formatting here not a whole bunch um, and then we've got the annual rope I did a percentage year over year growth that's the next thing we did so you see subs grow grown for level one is you know 150 to 268 to 382 and up and up and then we got margins here, cash flow. Um, okay, so that's. I don't think I updated any of the visuals. So that's the main update. Um, so, in general, the model works. You enter your month, your starting subs, and your percentages. Now, the percentages are nice. You could really start with any amount of subs and just adjust the percentages to fit your uh, forecast. These are all monthly growth rates per year. Um, same with churn uh, in revenue per account. Cost is the cost to go sold is just a it's a high level. Now this model is more of a high level, um, top down. You know you're putting in your main assumptions and see what it looks like. Uh, so for each cost, um, you just have a monthly cost here for each year. So this would actually be for a year. Um, this is saying just uh, four times twelve, forty eight thousand. Uh, and it'd be 144,000 in year five for executive salaries. So you can just kind of adjust this to fit what you expect for each year for each different category. Um, now I have done a different model that is a little bit more granular. So here you can see it's got every single position. Um, and this is a recurring revenue model where you can pick the cost for each year and then the starting month and but it's got each position instead of just the overall for the whole category for S&M, G&A, R&D so this is more in depth this is a more expensive though this is a hundred twenty five dollar cost model instead of forty five um, just because of the granularity and it's got revenue sensitivity so you can control um, you can do excellent better base bad worse so once you build your all your assumptions you can adjust a sensitivity there and it's way more granular um, but, and the other thing with this is it drives off of instead of just putting in a hard starting sub amount 
it allows you to do your website traffic and your expected conversion of that traffic into a free pool and then conversion of that into a paid pool. So it's a little bit more in depth on the user forecasts. Uh, it still has four tiers of, actually oh, we got five tiers. Um, so you've got paid user pool, starting revenue, revenue added new subs, revenue added from free pool. So here at the top we got like a free user pool. Then from there you've got a paid user pool and the revenue um, or the users in each pool and then revenue is based on all of those things happening. So it's a bit more complex. Um, and then we've got some more. Uh, it's got startup costs. Uh, it's got distribution summaries, uh, annual PL. Here's the monthly. So you see, you've got website traffic here, and then it's, it's doing logic to convert your estimated web traffic into recurring users. So that's kind of the main difference here. Um, it's got a bit more visuals, customer lifetime value. Anyway, so that's the more advanced version, but this is this is more of a high level. It's a bit easier to understand. It's a bit easier to work. It doesn't take as much time. Um, and so I have it, a lot of people buy this, so that's why I'm doing an update, uh, trying to make it a bit better, a bit, bit more uh, user-friendly, uh, a little bit more flexible. So, I mean, that's pretty much it with this thing. You see you've got each subscriber level. Uh, with the dates, you simply put in the first day of the year you're starting here. And then the actual, whenever the numbers start coming in, will be based on, you know, what you're putting in each of these and your percentages. Cost assumptions are assumed to start still in the first month of each year. Um, again, that's not added because it's just, this isn't, supposed to be too complex it's just about f trying to get a general forecast um, rough estimate but you know people are utilizing this so I'm trying to make it a bit uh, more functional and we got valuation as well here based on a annual run rate okay so that's the updates um, like I said, you can go to smarthelping.com to get this. Here's the high level one I just showed you. The actual one we just went over is, let's see, uh, here it is under general business models and tools, five year SAS. Right there, yeah, it's 45 for this one. So I'm going to put this video on here and edition five. And all the other editions are down here. You can see the iterations of the model. Um, that's it. Alright, see you on the next one.